book X for the new classroom. Hey kids, just got your first Chromebook? I'll show you the total basics. Let's get started. Here's the power button, which turns your Chromebook on and off. When the Chromebook powers up, it'll take you to a sign-in screen where you'll type your email and password. Don't worry if you're using it for school. Your teacher will tell you how to do that part. To power off your Chromebook, press the power button again and then use the touchpad to select power off. You can also sign out or lock your Chromebook here. It's a good idea to turn it off for several hours at least once a week, just to let it rest. Once you're signed in, you'll see the home screen. Use the touchpad to move to the little circle at the bottom left of the screen. That's called the launcher. Now, click the arrow at the top and you can see all the apps on your Chromebook. Pro tip, there's another way to open the shelf of apps at the bottom of the home screen. You hover over the shelf and swipe up with two fingers at the touchpad. That opens the search bar. Then, swipe up again and see all of your apps. Let's take a closer look at your Chromebook's keyboard. You probably know the basics. The enter key takes you to the next line of text when you're typing. Use the backspace key to delete something you typed, and you'll need to hold down the shift key to make uppercase letters or special characters. There's also a search key that takes you to a toolbar where you can search on your Chromebook or the web. If you want to be a real pro on your Chromebook's keyboard, Check out our video covering a bunch of more keyboard shortcuts.